There is some massive news that has come out of the Springbok camp today. Something that we knew was going to happen, but now it's almost official. Rassi Erasmus has announced that he is thinking about changing the Springbok captaincy. Now, there are a couple of reasons for this, which we're going to get into in today's video. But this is quite a unique situation. Sia Khaleesi, probably one of the most successful captains that South Africa has produced. He's won back-to-back -back World Cups now, and now he's taking his career over. Overseas. A couple of problems with Sia Khaleesi at the moment is one, his age, and the fact that he has now moved to Racing 92 in France. Rassi Erasmus has said that he prefers to have a captain that is based in South Africa. And this was backed up by SA Rugby, who agreed with Rassi, also saying that they prefer to have a captain that is based in South Africa. And I mean, that is a fair statement. It sends a message to all the kids out there, to all the upcoming rugby players, that if you want to be captain of South Africa, you have to play rugby within South Africa to boost the South African brand. To be fair to Sir Khaleesi, he's done his time in South Africa. He came up in the Stormers, he played a little bit for the Sharks, and now that he's won two World Cups, he's moved to Racing 92. So absolutely no shade on Sir Khaleesi moving to France. He deserves it. He's put the time in. He can go get that big paycheck. But I think he knew that if he did that, the captaincy of, of the Springboks would be in jeopardy. Adding to this, Sir Khaleesi did before the 2023 World Cup say that he was thinking of retiring after the 2023 World Cup in terms of the in terms of the Springboks he would still play for club but he's, he's since changed his mind on that he wants to continue playing for the Springboks and he's even said in a couple of interviews that if his body allows him he would like to play in the 2027 World Cup now I think that's also throwing a little bit of a spanner in the works because Rassi Erasmus is a planner he he would have had many conversations with Sir Khaleesi over the years and maybe him thinking that Sir Khaleesi he was going to retire after the 2023 World Cup, got his brain going and started thinking of other options that could lead them in to the 2027 World Cup. Adding to this, before the 2019 World Cup, Rassi said that they made a timeline for each player that was playing in that World Cup, where they'd been a year, where they'd been three years, where they'd been five years, all the way up to the 2027 World Cup. So Rassi Rasmus has been planning from 2018, 2019 towards the 2027 World Cup. Cup and I do think one of those moves was to change the captaincy from Sia Khaleesi to someone now based in South Africa a youngster I've got a couple in mind who we're going to go through and as always you can let me know who you think should take over the captaincy in the comments now don't get me wrong Sia Khaleesi is still at the top level of his game playing for Racing 92 and thriving there he's also probably going to play in a couple more test matches throughout this year but I wouldn't be surprised to see them starting to phase Sia Khaleesi out not only Sia but every Everyone who played in that Rugby World Cup final in the forwards are all over 30 years of age now and they'll be into their mid-30s by the time the 2027 World Cup rolls around. And we've already seen a little bit of the guard changing. Dwayne Vermeulen retiring from rugby has now joined the Springbok coaching staff and you've seen with the first alignment squad that Rassi has started to bring in a whole bunch of youngsters. Sasha Ngumazulu, Gumede from the Bulls, Cameron Hanukom, just to name a few. So that transition period is starting to happen within South African rugby and I think as South African fans we should expect over the next couple of years even the tests against Ireland and New Zealand coming up this year I don't think we should expect to absolutely dominate dominate those games we will start to lose more games before we start to win games as they start changing the guard the job of the experienced players in the camp now is to take the younger players under their wing for a year a year and a half and then sort of step back and let the youngsters the, play, the young players uh, get involved in the spring box. Obviously, this is easier said than done. A lot of the Springboks from the 2023 World Cup will want to win three World Cups, will want to go to that 2027 World Cup. But the reality is, is that many of them aren't going to go. They all, most of them are going to be in their mid-30s. Some of them are going to get chosen. I mean, if we even look at a Dion Fury from the 2023 World Cup, 36, we all thought he was too old uh, playing at 36. And that's where most of the forwards are going to be. So who do I think should take over the captaincy and become the new captain of South Africa. Well, the youngest players in that World Cup winning team in 2023 was Damien Willem, so who was the youngest at 25. You've got Kirtley Orenser, who's 27. Now, you don't often see a backline player being named captain in rugby, never mind a wing. So I don't think Kirtley Orenser is going to be that man for the job. 
Damien Willemser, on the other hand, is probably one of the best rugby players that South Africa has ever produced. He's won two World Cups. He's only 25. I would not be surprised to see Rassi Erasmus hand the captaincy to Damien Willemser in the next year or so and let him lead us into the 2027 World Cup. Let me know if you think Damien Willemser would be a good replacement for Sia Khaleesi. He's still based at the Stormers. He's just signed an even longer deal at the Stormers, so he's not going anywhere. He's one of the most experienced youngsters that we do have so I think a captaincy armband on him would look would look absolutely phenomenal and I think he has the spirit and the way with words to be able to lead the Springboks and South Africa into the 2027 World Cup the news today obviously quite difficult to hear Sia Khaleesi an absolute icon in South Africa and in Springbok rugby but we knew this time was going to come I still want to see Sia Khaleesi get his 100th cap which will hopefully come in the next year or two but it is time for him to step down, especially because he's now moved to France. He doesn't have that interaction with the coaching staff uh, as regularly as he would if he was based in South Africa. So I do think it's a smart move for Rassi to replace, not to replace Sir Khaleesi, but to sort of uh, hand over the guard into the next generation. And I do think Damien Willemser is the player to do that. As always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.